Carolyn with Hollywood First Look Features, and I'm backstage here at The Voice. All the contestants, top 11, they're out here on the carpet. Let's check it out. Right, well, Bonnie Tyler's voice is insane, right? And so she has this song actually like a step and a half higher than me. And so at first I was trying to sing it in her key and, and I was like, you know what? Blake told me, you gotta do what, what's best for Chloe mm -hmm. and make the key fit you and take the song and put your own spin on it. So I lowered it so that at the end I could go up and I could do all the, you know, the screams and the things that people love. And I just, I'm so proud of that performance. I really am. I wanted to do something a little more upbeat this week. Um, been doing some slower ballads lately and man after last week's instant save song or whatever I, I just love rocking out with the crowd and having fun I feed off that energy and, and show tonight oh man yeah yeah I, I should have done some stretches first but. <laughs> well consider it your workout right yeah exactly exactly check that off today during the blonde auditions, I was very shy, and Jennifer helped me grow out of my shell. Really? So, yeah, like I didn't talk at all. I would just be laughing and stuff. Sometimes I still do <laughs> because it's just a part of my shyness that I have. <laughs> so, how does it feel knowing that this is a little, not to say that shyness is something to overcome, but you know, going into a competition like this, I mean, you're on the spotlight. You're going to be doing interviews just like this one. I mean, how has that been for you, though? Um, it's really been amazing because it's showing me how a professional artist is actually doing in their career and so I'm kind of getting used to it now <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was a lot more nervous than I thought I was really? yeah but it felt great I was in there with the audience and that was my focus going into it was to really connect with them and, and show them some love for all their support you, know, you mentioned that to me last week and I'm telling you like watching you because we're back we're back here watching it on the screens you are so in the zone that I would never think that you were as nervous as you're as you're telling really? me now yes that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, how is it when you're actually, have you gotten a chance to um, go back and watch your performances? I do. I watch my performances more than I should. Because, <laughs> wow. you know, I yeah. go back and pick them apart. But um, it, it helps me to, to learn from my mistakes and keep moving forward and do better each time. Well, you know, I, I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been out doing this for a long time. been doing it for a lot of years. I'm 40 years old. So uh, there's always something new to learn. Um, but, you know, as far as being out here, it's, you know, you learn to appreciate the time you're home with your family because we're out here for a long time. Uh, so for me, you know, being gone so long and for so many weeks at a time, it's just uh, you learn definitely when you get a chance to spend, uh, spend some time at home, you better enjoy it. Wow. I mean, when I first got it, I was a little, like, I was nervous because it's like, okay, this is what America chose. This is what they want to hear. Don't mess it up, you know. But... I wanted to still stay true to who I am, so I had to find out how to Keisha buy it, you know? <laughs> and what was that process like? I mean, I mean, I when I first went into the rehearsal with Blake, he could tell that I was kind of hesitant. Um, so he ensured me, like, this is a song that you can take the liberty to kind of embellish on. Um, because I'm finding that some people in the country community, they're like, hey, this is my favorite song, and all that ain't necessary, you know? And so it's like, I want to please both sides. I don't want to offend anyone. So It's been really surreal. I mean, yeah, it's it, it gets pretty crazy, but it's just been fun the whole ride. I mean, honestly, this show is the best. They make sure that we're taken care of. They make sure that we get enough rest, even in the midst of the crazy hour days, you know? Um, but on top of that, it's like, it. I, I don't know, it just starts to feel normal. And then randomly, like I'll be ordering food and then all of a sudden it'll hit me. I'm on The Voice. Like, you know, it's like something I've dreamed of for 26 years, and it's happening right now. It's a reality. Um, it's it's crazy. Well, luckily, this is a song that I've known for a long time, but that was the thing is that um, it made me really nervous to have to change it up a little bit because um, when it first came out, it was such a well-loved song, and even now, it's such a well-loved song. And so I, w I didn't want to do too much to it to where it was like unrecognizable, but I still wanted people to hear my own little my, uh, my own little spin on it. So um, it, that was just my only hesitation was just like, okay, what am I going to do with a song that's still justifying the song, you know? Right. So that was, but I had so much fun doing it. But you guys chose a Joni Mitchell song tonight. Yeah. What I mean, what what were your top three songs before you picked this one, and why ultimately did you choose this one over the other two? Well, actually, America picked this song. Oh yes. Yeah, but so but America had a few, and so we were debating. Me and Adam were in the back room, just like talking about it, really. And then he he we started playing it, and we were just like, it's it, it's it. Literally, the she hadn't even started singing, and we were like, this is it. This is it.
Hey guys, it's Chloe and you're watching Hollywood First Look Features.